Hi Pisces, welcome to, to my channel. And uh, so uh, I was, uh, I took a few days, a few, maybe one, a, more, a little bit more than a week off because I was uh, uh, rejuvenating a little bit. So um, I finally feel like that it is the good time for me to come um, do a video. So here I am and you have play. Okay, this is the heart chakra, Pisces. So here we go. I hope you can see it's like it's two dolphins playing together. And uh, what it tells you, it is probably a soulmate is coming because dolphins are very, um, they stay, I believe, all the whole life with their partner and they are very uh, um, they honor their partner they stay all the time with them you know they don't change partners so it's probably a sign for you here maybe your animal spirit so i'm going to pull some cards here from the tarot of the, the morgan Greer tarot So I hope you're doing every, everybody's doing good, Pisces and uh, cross watchers. Uh, <clears throat> I'm doing good. I'm happy. Uh, I took some energy of the sun today. I was outside in my backyard. I had some fun. Um, it feels good talking about the sun. <laughs> Ten of Wands, I believe, came reverse, so I'm going to put it here. And next is the Sun. So you're letting go of something really heavy, and it's going to bring you um, something very good, I feel like. The Sun is uh, the... You can ask any tarot reader. The Sun is the mo most positive card of the deck. So uh, when you have the sun in a spread, I mean, it's like everything is good <laughs> to me and also to other tarot readers. Okay, let's see what's coming next. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Or you could have um, those in your chart. Okay, Queen of Rod. Well... Okay. And strength. Oh my goodness! You have a lot of uh, fire, and then uh, especially Leo's in your chart. I mean, in your spread today. Wow. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. I I might. Okay. And then you have a Virgo here, so it could be you could be dealing of, with a Virgo, Leo, uh, any fire sign uh, with the Hermit, and you don't see the cards. I'm sorry about that. Yep, here. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Wands. So you're waiting for something. What are you waiting for, Pisces? Ah, uh, you're probably waiting uh, for your soulmate. They're telling you that you have to have some strength, okay? Uh, because it's, it, I feel like it's going, it's in delay now with the hermit. Uh, it's going to take some time. Um, but uh, there is, there is something very strong that is about to, um, to manifest in your life with the queen of rods it's very very something very tangible something very um fiery too and then plus you have the sun next to it but you this person it could be this person or yourself you had to or they had to let go some of, of something very heavy very um maybe painful but i would say more um 
not painful, but it was not agreeable, you know, for them to do that. So, but they had to, and they had to, to find a lot of strength in order to do that, okay? So that's what I feel here. And yeah, yeah, exactly, yep. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'll take those three cards. So yeah, but bottom of the deck, you have the two of wands, so you're waiting. So you are at the waiting stage right now with your hermit too. You are, maybe you are healing too, you know. A lot of people are healing. I've been channeling a lot of healing time here before coming forth from and then saying uh, what they have to say, saying the truth, so, you know, coming uh, out of uh, the hermit, you know, and uh, communicating the truth and communi communicating the feelings. And there will be a lot of, um, a lot of work, maybe a lot of uh, strategy, strategy, you know, maybe someone very strategic uh, who is uh, really uh, working hard uh, and um, in order to bring this, you know, toward in, into fruition. And I have the lovers, uh, the third, you know, the third card here on, at the bottom of the deck. And yeah, you will have probably some choice to make, but here the lovers, uh, which is a Gemini energy, uh, tells me that it's it could be yeah it could be a soulmate or a twin flame connection because you have your lover and the sun here, you know. So it's something definitely very um very uh, strong. So that's why probably you have to heal and you had to <clears throat> you had to let go of something to bring this into manifestations too. Okay, so if it's uh if it's concerning a job, so it's something that you let go of a job, you could okay, that was no longer serving you and now you may be resting, you're healing you know, and then you coming forth from, you know, with the strength and you finding something that you like. This is probably your passion. You work really hard for this. This is, you don't mind because this is your passion, you know, you, you know, and here the, with the lover's card, you know, you, you made this decision. You, nobody told you, you just felt like you had to let go of this and yeah so like under hermit here it's also the same thing about waiting but waiting knowing that it's coming for you okay so it's pretty much about the same for the job area and love area it's something that you or someone you love, you love deeply and you're just waiting because you need to heal too so you're waiting and while you waited you let something go you know and you have to find some courage to do to do that with the strength here we go i see so but it is it is uh you have to they're telling you so to find the you in heal to your inner child yeah, I ha I want to mention this. Heal your inner child. And for me, inner child is all about the lovers too. <laughs> because the lovers, it's this um, represented by the twins. And two, it's like gen generally two kids, you know. Here we have a couple, but it's usually two kids. So it's like really bringing your inner child, your... Um, your um, Bringing your 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 inner child, you know, uh, being a little bit, bring like in your life this lighter energy, not being too serious about everything, you know. Um, but be strong, you know, be strong. And I I feel like you are strong anyway. You are strong because you you have strength card here. And you have the sun. Well, it, in general, you have all fire sign. And for me, fire sign is very strong. It's strong energy. 
So Pisces, you are strong and something great is coming after being, after letting go and healing. That's pretty good. Yeah. Separation. So you're letting go definitely of something, maybe a current relationship. Okay. So they're telling you here what? Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. And for karmic relationship, I have fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So you were, for some of you, you were probably in a karmic relationship and you had to learn a lot of the lessons. Those lessons are probably the 10 of ones here. Uh, and I feel like you learn your lessons because it's reverse okay uh so um now you're ready to let go of something okay and then uh you have you either um separated with someone you're letting go of someone or you are in separation with the one that you love okay and here i have cassette outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head yeah so some of you uh, probably because of this hermit here right here is in here is showing up here so you might need you probably needed some time off to think because you could not decide you had you have a hard time deciding you know and um, um yeah i i think that uh, seeing like a few ones energy here i feel like there is action taken towards this but uh it took you i would say with the hermit it took you a, a little bit of time maybe you're not completely done being in hermit you know and with the sun here i would say if you're not done then this situation might be of over the this hermit situation might come to an end around the summer at some point during Leo season so which means July August uh yeah if it's if you're hermit if you're not done healing if you're done then um you coming for front of or this person you know you can reverse it and then uh if you're done it's it's mean or if they're done it means that they worked on this on their self their selves they work really hard on this on their selves okay this is the love part okay oh i forgot to take um some uh, cards here oops okay we have the sun on the board for the second time. Being. Let's see what sign. Okay, I'll pick a house. That's fine. Okay, so we have the North Node, a destiny. Soul, school, learning curve, fulfillment, purpose, maturing, maturing, experience, fruition, North Star, process, development, practice, path become blossoming becoming integrity journey yes so here it's the card of destiny the north node is usually destiny is connected with the destiny what you're supposed to do where you're supposed to be who you're supposed to meet and be with and i have the feeling that with the sun card here and the sun again here it tells me that uh you you will have your destiny you cannot avoid it you have sun twice here so which means that something beautiful is coming towards you and you're gonna feel like really uh content and uh, uh you're gonna feel that you 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 can actually uh, uh how can i say that you can do what you're here to do you know if it's a job concerning the job yeah 
and then you have the north node you have a star here it's you know maybe some of you wished that this was going to happen they wished upon a star <clears throat> and now it's coming your way for sure it's uh it's manifesting into your life with those ones <clears throat> and uh, those the fire energy here uh, because we all it's all about fire energy except for the hermit which is earth energy yeah well i have those pick those extra cards down here but here the first card i took is mostly fire <clears throat> and then here we have the sun so it's all positive you know creativity so it's connecting with your creativity and it'll bring a little bit of playfulness you know with this card um yeah energy a lot of life force um yeah i mean i don't know what to say you're gonna shine and then here with this 12th house uh so it's a little bit of your subconscious here coming forth and then with the hermit here that is connected to this card so <clears throat> you probably have some downloads too when, during the healing time that you had during the time off whatever you you did to heal yourself you know you you had some downloads you 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 probably weigh the pros and cons you know stuff like that and you just to see what to do where to what direction to take and then here with the two of of ones too it tells me that you had to go choose between two paths here okay which regarding love or job and then yeah of course you're gonna take the right decision because i have the sun here all right so uh, let me take a final card to wrap up i'm gonna take a card from the namaste okay let's see Okay, so we have also green here. So look at this. Look at this, guys. Green, green. Heart chakra here. Right? So when I say that, I was telling you at the beginning of the reading that it was concerning a relationship, you know. Every part of you is equally worthy of love. Accept yourself as you are and this will be a blessing into yourself and others. If you wish to see the truth of the matter, hold no preference either for or against a particular outcome. Just be the love that you truly are. So love yourself, you know, always. Whatever comes towards you, there is an... Uh, a reason for it but don't don't be hard on yourself and then don't judge yourself and others just be yourself and love yourself okay guys here we go that was your reading i hope that you like it and that it resonated um i'm in the process of uh download um yeah downloading the other signs so if this is not resonating you can also look at the other placements signs in your chart and then there we go uh have a good um end of your day and i see you next time bye bye